find domain of 1 by x minus 1 into x minus 2. So how to solve this question, John? Clearly given question is in the form of what? 1 by x. Definitely you get all questions based on these four forms. Okay, given question is 1 by x format. What is the domain condition for 1 by x? x not equal 0. So your first step is you should write domain condition that is denominator not equal to 0. <laughs> Clear? So x minus 1 into x minus 2 not equal 0. Then x minus 1 not equal 0. x not equal to 1. x minus 2 not equal 0. x not equal to 2. Okay? Now what is domain? Domain always you should mention with respect to capital R. What is capital R? Real numbers. Okay? You should mention domain with respect to real number set that is all so here what is the meaning of this answer means domain may be any value except 1 comma 2 okay so in r set you can get infinite number of values any values exist I think, except 1 2 domain at the answer r to base this one we represent here Okay, here domain is R minus 1 comma 2. End of the way, clear X not equal 1 and X not equal 2. That means you should not take 1, 2. In total R set, just ignore only 1 and 2. That is only the domain. The 1, 2 are going to be a number this one. That is the correct answer. And the domain in the sense input amount. Okay, what uh, if you take x equal to 1, what happens here? If you write uh, x as 1, you get 1 minus 1 into 1 minus 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 into something, 0. So something by 0, what you say, it is infinity. You cannot tell your answer as infinity. Infinity and answer a put your Infinity is a unknown value. Kavate, uh, 1, 2, this code. Even 2, this code, sir, denominator 0. The answer is infinity. Kavate, put answer is infinity. Jepad. And uh, infinity, which value is in the domain. Lo domain in the sense input. 1, 2, k, problem is 1, 2, you can tell some answer. For example, 4, this is an answer. x equal 4, and you can tell some answer. 4 minus 1 into 4 minus 2, which is 1 by 3 into 2, 1 by 6. And for a input, you are getting a perfect output. Okay. Mala real number 1 by 6 again, it's a real number. And the go R minus 1 comma 2 and one at 1 comma 2, your answer is not defined case of so. So you should ignore that. And the finding of domain is nothing but what am input. Input and I may reach value answer. You should not get infinity. Infinity rakunda under conditions. Not defined case, you should not get. The same model. Next two marks question. Generally, they ask this model for two marks. Very important. 95% you can get a domain or range based problem in annual exams. Second question should be domain or range. First question should be remaining method. The compulsory domain range adutadu, definitely. So and find domain of next question. Find domain of 1 by 6x minus x square minus 5. Six x minus x square minus five. So here denominator quadratic function. According to condition, first you write domain condition for all one by x x not equal zero. Here denominator not equal zero. Now solve. 
for writing this condition, you can get one mark. Why? Right? Because this is only the most important step here. Okay. Total answer depends on this step only. So this is a one by X format. Therefore, take denominator not equal to you. can get one mark simple. If it is root X form, take that X size now greater than or equal to zero, like that. Yes, now factorization. Here I am taking minus common X square minus six X plus five. Okay, find factors. Uh, 5 and 6 combination, 5 into 1. x squared minus 5x minus x plus 5. Take x out, x of x minus 5, minus 1 out, x minus 5. Now minus of, you can write it as x minus 1 into x minus 5. Okay, now what is here? X not equal to 1 comma, X not equal to 5. You cannot take X as 1 and 5. Okay, that means here if you make this as 0, X minus 1 equal 0, X equal to 1, but not equal is there, X not equal to x minus 5 equal to 0, x 5, but here it is not equal there, so x not equal to 5. Then what is domain? Domain r minus 1 comma 5. Clear? Very simple and important. Definitely you get one, two marks question in annual exam. Yeah, four x is equal. Root x square minus one plus one by root x square minus 3x plus 2. This question combination of two terms. Find domain separately. First take x square minus 1. Okay. Find domain here. After that second term. Next part you should combine your answer. So given question is in the form of root x sum. What is domain condition for root x? x greater than or equal 0. So your first step should be x square minus 1 greater than or equal 0. Next, solve this. x square minus 1 means a square minus b square. a square minus b square can be written as a minus b of a plus b. Okay, all are easy steps on. Now, x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0, x plus 1. What are the values here? If this is uh, 0, you can get 1. If this is 0, you can get minus 1. For greater than or equal to 0, you should take x does not belong to. Closed interval minus 1 comma 1. So, whenever you find greater than sign, use does not belong to in answer. Whenever you find equal to, so and inequality lo equal unte, use closed interval. For greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, you should use this bracket. Up. This is called closed interval. If you find strictly greater than symbol or strictly less than symbol, use open interval. Okay. First condition, whenever you find greater you should take does not belongs to. Whenever you find less than, you should take belongs to sign. Note yes, this is for signs. 
greater than this does not belong to sir. less than than this solution lo belongs to sinus sir. tarvata a bracket this call which bracket you should take whether it is closed or open and whenever you find equal to sign along with inequality that means greater than or equal to or less than or equal to you should take close interval okay strictly greater or strictly less than you should take open interval ee kaamne en todi meer answer raayal anduke domain range generally student miss the marks ante edo okati mistake chestaru a closed bracket open belongs to ese o mark go out a strictly chustaru ada endukante 75 award ayyatapudu perfect unda ledha they will check after that only they will give okay so kabati ee conditions anni meeru perfect ga base chesukoni final answer this for simple only by practice you can get only remember these points what is those whenever you find greater sign you should take does not belongs whenever you find less than sign belongs greater than or equal to or less than or equal to closed interval okay these intervals are known as closed so when it a closed bracket they meant of it closed interval if it is open unde ee normal bracket aithe open interval unde okay ne? right question move chestam kada meek clarity vastu idi basic point then ipudu anke nenu chudandi values em chesan for minus 1 and 1 eppudaina sare within the interval you should write order order means in the interval first value should be minimum second should be maximum okay na? interval itla iskoni 1 2 minus 1 iskovadu increasing order you should maintain minus 1 to 1 is the correct order okay so and and one more thing how to mention exact answer take number line here it is minus 1 here it is 1 here it is infinity here it is minus infinity what you are telling x does not belongs to minus 1 to 1 means this area not applicable yes. for this answer okay this area does not applicable means where x lies here and here hello then okay here you should write answer as minus infinity comma minus 1 for minus 1 use open infinity is always sorry Minus one use closed them. Infinity is always open, default. Okay. Next one comma infinity. For one closed. Why? Because here equal to sign is there. For one closed. Infinity is always open. Whenever you find two areas like this, you should put union sign in between. This is answer for first case. okay answer for first case clear now second case you and first apply the same concept what is second case 1 by root x square minus 3x plus 2 first step should be denominator that is root x here second case apply and for 1 by root x x greater than 0 So what is x here under root term? That is x square minus 3x plus 2 greater than 0. Exact second case apply in. Now factor some again. X square minus 2x minus 1x plus 2 greater than 0. X of x minus 2 minus 1 of x minus 2 greater than 0. You can write x minus 2 of x minus 1 greater than 0. okay again what you got here for x minus 2 0 2 x minus 1 0 x 1 so x greater than sign is there 
you should take does not belongs to. Okay. So and strictly greater than put open interval one comma two. In that, in explanation of points, any apply is easy to write answer. Again, where it lies, take number line one two. Here it is infinity. Here it is minus infinity. What you are telling x does not belongs to one two. It cannot lay the honor. Then where it lies, automatically x should be here and here. Either here or here. Okay. So you write answer as x belongs to first interval minus infinity comma one. Infinity always open here. One also open a mind previous step. So here also open union. Second part two to infinity brackets. Infinity always open. In previous part two is open here also. Open. Now you should write your final answer as intersection area. First, you note yes only. Next class, la how to write intersection? I will explain. Okay, now first you note it down. Session end item. Well, ten minutes are login either. Whenever you find combination of question like this, you should take intersection part. Only two answers intersection this call. I will explain that.